Hello everybody, Princess LaVera here. We're back with another Local Eats video. Black owned restaurant and vegan, very gluten free. Yes. Friendly, and I've been craving Ethiopian food. So uh, we're gonna go to some Ethiopian food. You guys have seen us Ethiopian food before. So we're excited to find a place in Orlando that we can do that. Yes. So we're gonna head inside and uh, roll up some bread. Be sure to have a magical time. You heard the girl. <laughs> little trip to Nile Ethiopian. Now we have all these goodies to unwrap. Yes. All the unboxings. So where do we start? I guess we got snacks. Yes. So we couldn't get Ethiopian food and not get Ethiopian beer. So we got three different kinds of beer. Wait. Well, okay. It's red. The princess is the favorite. All the meats, all the disgusting bear meats. This is my sides to my platter. Lots and collard greens and split peas and lentils. This is the appetizers. So it's an appetizer sampler. More, More bread. <laughs> Princess loves it, so she's not gonna fight over it. And lastly is the veggie dish. It looks just like bear sides. Yes. Now normally, and when we're not in the middle of a pan, uh, when we're not in the middle of a Padme Amidala, you'd normally have like a gigantic plate with like the bread on top and then like the the different fixings like on the bread and you eat it with your hands, but this is takeout. So, rolls will have to do. You know us, drinks first. Our little aluminum falcon bottle opener and it actually feels like aluminum so it should be a lot heavier princess which one should we do first um let's start with the small bottle small bottle it is we have the squiggly line sword meta beer pride of ethiopia drink responsibly 21 plus we're 21 plus we drink responsibly What's worried about bending this poor thing? Several cups. Your hand model, would you like to pour? Sure. Just a small um, sample amount. So we can claim uh, the beer that we like the best. Taking your guesses yet on which one the princess is gonna like? Probably I have no idea one. what I'm gonna like. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, got Ooh. some body to it. A little heavier, not too heavy. Not Guinness heavy, but not Bud Light light. It's like the perfect balance of heavy and light. It's definitely a lager. It's a very good beer. Mm. I would give that three and a half out of five claws. I could, uh, Definitely throw back a few of these. This one seems chuggable. This is probably blasphemous to the Epcot stands, but let's get rid of Morocco and have Ethiopia instead. I would definitely be all in for that. Or just add this to the Africa stand. Africa needs something. <sighs> let's not talk about the Africa stand. It still hurts my heart. Time for the second oh. beer. We have St. George beer. Premium lager. 4.7%. A little bit weaker than the first one since 1922. Ooh. It's a little Ethiopian like silhouette of the country on top. Oh. 
And it's fizzing everywhere. Uh oh. Make it a mess. Typical boy fashion. Save us from the fizz. Oh no, I'm spilling. All over me. I'm sorry. Oh goodness, I spilled on both of us. It happens. <laughs> you open a couple beers, you're gonna make a little bit of mess. It's true. Maybe it's just the beer, because it's like still dripping. Probably just because it fizzed over the top. All right. Cheers. Mm. Oh, this is way more lovely, I think. It reminds me of like a half of ice and it's very bready. Mm. It's, it's a lot more bright to me, I think. I like that. I feel like that's the winning beer so far. Maybe Ethiopian beer is our new thing. Look at that one. Four out of five claws. I drink this on a regular. By far. Premium. Absolutely. You, you've earned your premium name. I'll give you that. Here we have our last beer. The dark beer. Adonis Tef beer. Amber Ale. Negus. Beer company. Negus. Yes. Sounds dangerously close to Negan. 5.4%. This is the strongest of them. Oh. And even though it, this one says it's an Ethiopian beer as well, it is brewed and bottled in Virginia. Oh, okay. Okay. I like the, the logo of the lion with the crown on it. That's pretty cool looking. Yeah, it's got like a whole story on the back. This one's... Kind of brew tef is an ancient grain grown in Ethiopia and Aretha, routinely used to make injera. That's a lot. It's like a whole story, like legit. A whole nice. Story. It's supposed to represent Africa's culture, which is what we're doing this month. Tell us in the comments section if you'd like us to post a photo of that story in our community tab or something. Princess. What is he doing on here? Uh, he looks to be baling some sort of grain. I guess that would make sense. Since it's a, uh... The darker of the three. Well, we did want a dark beer. Putting the princess's depth perception to the test. I don't know if I'm doing a very good job. I'm sure the community loves it. I love it. Cheers. Ooh. It's like coffee-ish. Coffee-ish, chocolatey-ish. It's more like a dessert dark beer. Interesting. Not my jam so much because I'm not a big dark beer person, but I could get down on this. I'm going to give this a three out of five claws. It's not my favorite. Uh, I like it, but it's not my favorite. I agree. I think that the order should be one, two, three. And I actually, for a change, 100% agree with that rating. Boom, boom, boom. But this is tasty. And we have more. Well, we have more beer, but I mean, there's more <laughs> for this to drink. We are going to drink this beer while we try food. Yes, off for that. Time for the appetizers. That's the first step. The princess got an appetizer plate. Platter, I'm sampler. Excited Platter, sampler. for this. So. Sambusas. They have lentils, green peppers, and onions in them. Dink. Mmm. If you're going to fill something, Make sure it's full. This is definitely that. Pack full of flavor. Filling from edge to edge. It's a bit dry on the inside. I was expecting to be a little bit more moist. But the flavor is there. It's a three out of five claws for me. I, I agree with you on the moistness. I do taste moistness. I think you just got to do a couple more bites and then you can really like dig into it. It's delicious. I love lentils. And these lentils are cooked to perfection. They're not overcooked, which is really easy to do. We, we uh, definitely do a lot of lentils in this house. Here we have a recipe for um, green lentil dough. And we have a recipe for lentil hummus. 
on our channel because we just love lentil that much. Next we have Azifa. I believe I said it correctly, Azifa. Looks like more lentils or It's cookies. lentils, onions, green peppers, lemon juice, and mixed in an Ethiopian mustard. Yeah, I mean mustard. But for, so normally, like I said, with uh, Ethiopian food, you eat it with bread. As your utensils, you don't really use like a fork. You can, obviously, they have forks, but traditionally, you just scoop with the bread, pop it in your mouth. Just like use, use it as like a little... A little pita. Yeah. A little tortilla, Ethiopian style. But it's one thing the world seemed to agree on is that you get bread and you put things in it. That's right. Take. Mmm. Mm. Yes. That mustard is fire. That's a nice little kick. It's like a Dijon style mustard, so it just fires up right in the nostrils. Oh, yeah. And the flavor Woo. is punchy. Very good. I give that a solid four out of five gloss. I like that. It's my favorite so far. I 100% agree with that. It's definitely tasty. So this is Tomato Fit Fit. It has tomatoes, green peppers, onions, oil, and lemon dressing. It look, we, I believe we had this last time we went to the restaurant. It looks a little bit different, but different. I'm still excited for it. I can't wait until this Padme Amidala is over so we can go and sit in an actual Ethan Rope restaurant and like just enjoy ourselves. This one had a really cool like little vibe setting. with the yeah. huts. You get, it was fun. It looks fun. Mmm. Mm. There's a Persian salad that is almost identical to this. This is giving me vibes of home. I don't normally like green peppers, but I'm 100% okay with this. Uh, the lemon juice is like what makes that for mm, sure. I agree. Three out of five plus. This whole sampler plate, if you've never had Ethiopian food, start here. Very much start here. Absolutely agree. So this will get your palate ready for what's to come. The good stuff. Are you ready for the good stuff? I am ready for the good stuff. It's time for your main. The veggie vegetarian platter, which is actually vegan. And then my sides, which are the same thing. Exactly. At least I don't have to share my food with you this time. This time. So we have our collards with onions. We have the cabbage with garlic and onions. We have red lentils with garlic and onions, and then yellow split peas, and then well, the red lentils, and then yellow split peas. So it looks delicious. It smells delicious. It smells amazing. It smells like Morocco, soon to be Ethiopia, should smell. Not gonna happen. I am putting it in the universe. I'm gonna make that happen. Get rid of the Africa outpost, make that Greece, get rid of Morocco, make Ethiopia. Back to this. It's all on the same continent. It works. Where would you like to start? Uh, let's start with the collards. Oh, right. Right in here. I wonder if this is where soul food's love of collard comes from. Maybe. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Oh, wow. Love that. A little tang to it, a little spice. Mmm, just good in the mouth. The bread. Mmm. I'm not usually one for collard greens, but these are cooked to perfection. Yes. This might get you more on collard greens. I, I agree. I might actually want them more often. It's a four out of five claws. That's just slightly less better than grandma used to make. Ooh. Cabbage next, maybe? Cabbage, yes. I got Ooh. carrot with my cabbage. Think. Mmm. It's such a far cry from like the traditional like cabbage. It's like usually very vinegary and tangy. It's a lot more savory. This is so good. And I good. like this. I would love to learn how to cook cabbage like this. So I would eat that on regular. At four, I give that three and a half out of five claws. It's not as good as the collards, but still pretty good. The lentils next? That's lentils? these ones, right? Yes. Okay. Right, I'm gonna roll some more of the bread here. Trust me, if you order Ethiopian food, get extra bread. Get extra bread. You will thank us later. All right, time for red lentils. Red lentils, yes. Oh, yes. Mm. 
Yes. Mmm. Mmm. Nice, deep, oh, wow. and earthy. It's almost like a red lentil paste. It's seasoned to perfection. It's like if red lentils were M&M, like you're melting your mouth. Mm-hmm. Mm, solid four out of five claws for me. It's that's definitely good. got some like garam masala or something in there that's giving it like a nice like earthy, somewhat curry savory. taste, but not. It's so good. Mm. This is better than any like red lentil soup that you could get anywhere. So far, I like this better than the Ethiopian food we had in North Florida. Agreed, hundred percent. And as for these split peas, it's the last one. Yes. Well, Bear doesn't like peas, so I'm curious to know how much he likes this. Tink. Mm. Mm. Oh, gosh. Like split, split pea mashed potatoes, almost. Like mashed split peas. To me, it tastes like cabal. Like it has that cabal, like. It's a smoky. Fiery, yeah. It's smoky. So good. But in a very good way. I could easily just eat this. Agreed. And be fine. I don't even, I'm not even curious yet how my meat tastes because the sides are so good. And if you're plant based, this is your main. And this is, this is excellent. This is so good. If you've never eaten, eat, eaten easy open food and you go back and watch our first video, you see how surprised we were. We definitely think if you're plant based, it's something you should try. Or if you're gluten free, it's absolutely gluten free friendly. Yes. So I got the chef's platter. We have four meats in the chef's special. We have the chicken door wat, the beef ali cha, the dori ali cha, and the beef tibs. And of course, if I'm mispronouncing the butcher this, if I have any, if we have any Ethiopian Princess and the Bear fans in the community, by all means correct us. But this looks absolutely amazing. I think I'm gonna work my way back around, starting with the beef tibs. And roll you some bread. You have these uh, beef tips, extra lean beef cubes, marinated in green peppers, onions. I see some tomato in here. The onions look trans, super translucent. I'm gonna try to avoid some of that. Get some of this juice here at the bottom. Ooh, feels nice and roasted. Try a little bit of everything. I'm even gonna give the peppers a chance. Ooh. Mmm. Got a little bit of spice to it. Pick up three out of ten. Very front of the mouth. I'd say it reminds me of beef kebabs, honestly. Mmm. Nice savory flavor, smoky. A little bit of kick. Give that three out of five claws. So this is beef ali cha braised. It's a turmeric in here. Watch it because it will stain your fingers. But it looks absolutely beautiful. A nice big helping there. Mmm. If I were to compare it to anything, I would compare it to like a pot roast. Sort of consistency, like just falls apart in your mouth. They had slavery, slow cooked sort of feeling. Three and a half out of five claws. So we have the chicken ali cha here with more turmeric braised. Looks like it's shredded. It's full of the spice. Mmm. It's about far my favorite. I give that four and a half out of five claws. It looks like it's in like grease. That's literally just the seasoning that it's cooked in. And it's just like sitting in there continually soaking it up. So like when you pinch it, the bread gets all of it. You just get a super dose in your mouth. Love Ethiopian food. So I got it mixed up. So this is the chicken dorawat and then this is the beef ali cha. So the beef ali cha is the last one we have left. Also, with a ton of house spices. My fingers are going to be red probably for days, but it's worth it. This is probably my least favorite of the bunch, but still packed with flavor. I give that a three out of five claws. Uh, my favorite is probably going to go with the beef tips, honestly. I like the way that tastes. Everything on here is good. The beef tips are definitely my favorite. I would say, like again, if you don't know what you want, getting this is like a sort of taste everything is the way to go. Definitely gets the bear stamp of approval. Oh, that's been our second go at Ethiopian food, our first here in good old Orlando. Uh, I definitely like 
love Ethiopian food, and we will continue to try and fish any other Ethiopian places that you think are better than Nile. And so far, this is our favorite. Uh, we definitely want to hear from you guys. If there's any other black-owned restaurants you'd like to see us support for all of Black History Month, by all means, or even after Black History Month, let us know because we will definitely go. Absolutely. So hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. <laughs>